I am in a room in a Home 2 Suites by Hilton, and it is my first time in a Home 2 Suites by Hilton. And the first thing that you're greeted with is the fact that there is a kitchenette, complete with cutlery, crockery, and pretty much everything you need if you're going to stay here for an extended period of time. There's a sink right there, coffee station, glassware, and if you look inside the drawers, you'll see that there's all the flatware you need, utensils, pretty much everything you need. Even a colander in case you want to remember what date it is. Or if you're supposed to think about what date it is. I don't know which. That'll drain me. Speaking of draining, here's a dishwasher right here. Full dishwasher. And you could also have yourself a cup of coffee, tea, from this coffee station. Glassware, cups, mugs. I feel like I got mugged here. Oh, hmm. oh no, I didn't. I'm not just kidding. But this is nice. Not only do you have a desk in a home to suites with a rolling chair, but you also have a pull-out desk under the desk. So you have plenty of work area. And if that's not enough, there's a desk down there too, kind of. So if you want to move that table down there, you can probably do that. Uh, but that would require moving this lamp, I assume. But whatever makes you comfortable, especially if you're here for an extended stay. Plenty of drawer space. In fact, if you take a look, underneath this flat screen television, you have extra blankets and pillows, in case uh, what you have is not enough. Plenty of storage space. That's one thing that's really nice about a home two suites. Plenty of storage space. I'm not crazy about the color of the walls though. Outside you have orange and inside you have bright yellow. Uh, kind of uh, shades of true by Hilton. But this seems to be a very nice spacious room. Plenty of drawer space. One thing that's a little quirky, this is your closet. It's kind of like a Hampton Inn shower curtain. So you just kind of Roll that away, and you have yourself your laundry bag, your iron, your ironing board, your typical hangers, and you know, luggage rack, and a shelf up on top if you want to store things up there. Not an impressive closet by any stretch of the imagination, considering the other types of storage that are in this room. So I thought that was a little, little odd. And um, we have here a lamp with a, looks like an inverted shell with a hole in it. I, I don't get that. Uh, you have a window here, or I have a window here. You don't really have it. I do. So I could either, there are two kinds of shades. It's a blackout shade, and this is also similar to a True by Hilton as well. You got the blackout shade if you don't want any light to come in. And then of course you have a translucent, let me pull this back up, translucent shade which you can pull up as well if you want to see what's outside. Of course, I'm not going to be able to see what's outside until daylight, so. But uh, this is, this one here is in Cranberry Township in the suburbs of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, so uh, not really much to see, I would think. This is the climate control unit, which is pretty much similar to any, any Hampton Inn by Hilton. And of course, we haven't even mentioned the beds. This room is equipped with two queen beds, but you can get a king bed if you prefer. There's a foam between each bed. And if you prefer a nightstand with drawers, there's one right over here by this sofa bed. And you have a full-size mirror by the sofa bed. And this night, night table, you have like an extra night table that pulls out if you need extra space. You know, like if you want to put your underwear there, or something, I don't know, just something like that. And um, I wouldn't have a need for that. So, uh, and uh, the uh, wallpaper, if it were like bright blue and yellow and all that, it would again resemble a True by Hilton, but it, the colors are muted, but the design is kind of the similar, you know, kind of that strange design. This is more like True by Hilton colors. So, you know, it, it, it could do with that the trendiness of the colors and the designs there. But other than that, this is a really huge room and it looks like a comfortable bed. I haven't slept in it yet. I just arrived moments ago. And if you're wondering why this is called Home to Suites, you're saying, wait a minute, this is just one big room. Up, oh, not, 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 not if you count this curtain. This orange, bright orange curtain, it's actually a deep orange curtain, 
voila, you've got yourself almost two separate rooms. Almost, but not quite. Oh, not quite at all. So this is nice in case you have a family. So if you have kids that are sleeping in the sofa bed, and that is a sofa bed, I've checked. Go under the pillows here, the cushions, and you can see there's the handle to lift it up. Just bring it out. Nice. So you could easily, easily fit a family of four in this room if you can stay with them an extended stay for a long period of time, unless they drive you crazy. So it's shower curtain galore. And speaking of shower curtain, we haven't even gotten to the bathroom yet because that is the one place where you don't have a shower curtain. I'll explain what I mean in just a second. So, and if you need to control the thermostat, here's it's right here. It's not on the wall unit, the window unit that I just showed you. Behind this door is, ta-da, the bathroom. Standard toilet, you got plenty of towels underneath the sink. You also have drawers, and inside one of the drawers you have hair dryer, if you want to dry your hair. Also, what's very nice is if you are missing any kind of amenities that uh, you don't have, or you forgot to bring with you, or you ran out, or whatever, you could always ask for them downstairs. Tissues, nice big mirror, three hooks on the wall, you got pretty strange lighting there. But here's something that, and, and you're probably wondering, you know, wait a minute, what's going on here? Where's the soap? No. The soap is, for those of you who don't like bulk dispensers of product, well, you're out of luck here. You've got shower gel on the right, in the shower itself, and you've got shampoo on the left. The shampoo is by Neutrogena, and the shower gel is supposedly, I understand, is invigorating. Yes, that's right, invigorating, as opposed to exvigorating. There's the control for your shower, there's the shower head itself, and that looks like a pretty decent shower. I'm just not sure what this cardboard thing is up in the hole above the shower. That doesn't make any sense. But one thing that's very nice that I don't usually see in hotel rooms is you have a place to sit while you're taking a shower, or maybe you want to, you know, wash your feet or something. You don't want to reach down all the way to the floor or whatever, and you're not trying to do some kind of a precarious balancing act. Well, this is a this is a pretty convenient little feature. Again, you don't normally see in hotel rooms. And as I said, this is the one place where you're not going to find a shower curtain is the shower. And of course, you have your foot mat right outside the shower door. So some very good things about the Home Two Suites by Hilton. A uh, few things I would change, but you know what? This seems to be a very, very nice room. Things that uh, you can do in here because you have plenty of space, plenty of space, plenty of storage, especially if you use all these drawers and there's also these cabinets up on the wall. I mean, you could really store a lot of things in this room. That's really nice for those people who, unlike me, like to carry pretty much everything they have at home with them. Not me though, I like to travel light. A flat screen TV, carpeting, so nice room overall, very nice room. So as far as of right now, I would recommend staying at a home two suites by Hilton. And the person by the front desk was very welcoming, very friendly. They have apples, they have oranges there. And the one thing that's pretty funny is I've never seen anything like this. This, let me put this down over here. This is a chip. This chip, if given to you, is good at a home two suites for one dry good, like a bag of chips, a chip for a chip, yeah, or maybe a candy bar and a bottle of water. But I was also given two bottles of water in addition. So very nice touch. Uh, don't lose your chip. You know, it's very handy if you need that little extra snack to keep you going. And that's pretty much it. I don't know what the view is yet. And um, I haven't taken breakfast yet. I, breakfast comes with this rate, for me anyway. I, I mean, it comes with the, comes with the rate anyway. But um, I don't know what's included in the breakfast. I won't find out till tomorrow morning. And uh, oh, one other thing. If you uh, start to run out of paper towels, I seem to have a pretty good supply here. You could always go under the sink. And you've got another thing of paper towels as well as dishwashing liquid and some kind of tablet for the dishwasher. So fully equipped kitchen, 
small kitchenette, very large room, and I'll check and see whether the beds look comfortable. I'll check and see tonight whether they are comfortable or not, and I will make sure I include everything that I am not including in this video in the article at the gate, which is at thegate.boardingarea.com. I'm Brian Cohen. Thank you for watching.